Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name is, of course, Sisa or Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2019. Now, it's been a little while since I've caught up with some of my job quests, so that's kind of going to be the focus of this video. But right before we do that, two things that people have been commenting in my last couple videos. Number one, I will repair my gear before going into anything else. Um, this happened last time, I kind of like went right into a instance and I forgot to repair my gear and I didn't have enough time to find somewhere. Um, so yeah, it's, it's taken care of until next time. Uh, and number two, we're putting the debuff removing or poison clearing cleansing skill on bar. Um, I believe it's called Izuna. Um, anyways, I've had a lot of people mentioning that, hey, you should probably have this skill on your bar if you are a healer. Uh, so it is. It's been added to my bar. I, you know, still have to actually use it in combat, so we'll see how much better I get. Uh, but at least it is there. Um, and I, I've had a few people actually mention in the last two videos that, you know, hey, you're not a great healer. Here are some tips. Um, and firstly, Thank you so much for making those comments. I know a lot of people don't love to call people out. Well, okay, that's wrong. People do like to call people out on YouTube all the time, but oftentimes it's not very constructive. The beautiful part about our community is when you guys call me out for doing something wrong, you tell me what I should be doing instead. So that's, that's super great. Um, number two, I had a few people mention, hey, you're not a great healer considering you've been playing MMOs for so long. Well, yeah, so I've been playing MMOs for a really long time, uh, but I've very rarely been a dedicated healer in an MMO. Um, typically, I'm a DPS, and more often than not, I was also a tank, uh, but very rarely have I dedicated myself to healing. Um, it's really just been this past year, both in World of Warcraft, um, and sometimes Guild Wars 2, and obviously in Final Fantasy XIV, that I've started branching out into the world of healing. And I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's got a very different sort of reaction playstyle where you're waiting for something to happen. Um, a kind of a mix between casting your own abilities and watching the actions of your comrades. So I, I do really enjoy it, but I realize that I'm not great. Um, and I specifically know that I'm not super good at remembering to uh, cleanse poisons and conditions and stuff like that which is a very big part of being a healer um, for some fights and it's something that you need to learn i think it's one of the biggest things that you know healers can know going into a fight like knowing that there's going to be a dot that they need to clear or a debuff that's one of the biggest assets a healer can bring to a fight to really prepare themselves that being said, the other big way you can prepare yourself for instances is doing your job quests. Um, if you don't have all the skills that are available to you at a certain level, it's it's kind of harmful to your ability to play. So um, I have been catching up on my job quests. That's what you'll be seeing in the background. I believe I ran one on both my um, scholar and my summoner. Um, my bard isn't quite 40 yet, um, but when he does hit 40, I'll be sure to get that quest done as well, because I believe they come every five levels now, which is really, really great. Um, and it, it's kind of become this really, really nice break from the main scenario quest where, you know, from level one to 30, even just having the one single um, job uh, or class, I guess, bard, archer, whatever you want to call it, um, I had so many job quests that I would quickly have a few of them that have stacked up and then I'd have to go from one to the next to the next. Whereas now, you know, it's a good little bit of time between the time when I do a job quest and I go do some main scenario quests for a while and then I, I'm like, oh hey, there's another job quest, I should go check that out. So it's a nice break from everything. It kind of shifts your focus to a different subplot, which is really nice. I think Final Fantasy XIV does a really good job of having all of these uh, different little stories that interact in the same world. Um, we see this same thing happen with events and stuff like that as well, so I'm, I'm a very big fan of that. Um, and I've really enjoyed even having now the difference of having the bard 
job quests, the summoner job quests, and the scholar job quests. So I have quite a few different flavors going on and it's, it's really quite enjoyable. In particular, I've very much enjoyed summoner job quests um, because there's the whole element of getting new creatures that you summon, right? It's a very exciting time for me when I go back to the trainer and I'm like, do I get to learn some new creature? Um, so I, I very much enjoy that and I, I think it's a great way to pace out the content. Um, it also makes you feel really connected with the lore of your class, um, or job rather, um, which is a very good thing I think in games. When games get too distant from the actual feeling and class themes and stuff like that, that's when it starts to feel like an oversimplified MMO that doesn't feel like it has any character to it. And I think these job quests really do a great job of character building and making you feel like you're an important part in the world. Uh, so yeah, I've really enjoyed being a part of those quests. Um, I think the spacing of every five levels has become very comfortable for me to do as well. Um, and in particular, I'm very interested to see what kind of um, skills I get for my for my summoner, I already mentioned that, but also for my bard, uh, because I haven't done a job quest on the bard for a really long time now, and I've done a ton of summoner and scholar ones, because I focused really heavily on the summoner and scholar, and now I've kind of got that craving to go back to my bard and go through the, some of the quests, which initially, before I tried out a different class, I, I was getting kind of bored, so it's, it's a really nice way to mix things up. But yeah, that's what I've been up to in game the last few times I've been on. I'm really excited to push forward with the main scenario quest and keep going towards those new expansion areas. I'm very, very excited to get into that content. Um, I've loved all the feedback you guys have been providing, both with the polls and in video comments. Keep that coming. I want to do kind of a roundup video sometime right at the start of 2020 and discuss a lot of what we're going to be doing moving forward. Um, additionally, outside of Final Fantasy XIV, I'm very excited to see what kind of deals are around this coming Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, as I've mentioned a few times in past videos, I'm very excited excited to um, move from my current laptop situation, um, which is quite an old laptop I've got going on at the moment, to maybe a um, newer desktop um, that will hopefully allow me to A, play the games that I'm playing at better quality, but also allow me to explore some other games as well. Um, and more to that, being able to do a bit more with the way I edit things and stuff like that would be great. So who knows what will happen, but hopefully there are some nice deals out there. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to the next one. It's always a pleasure talking to all of you. Hopefully you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.